Hi guys, uh, Terry here again. Um, in this video, I'll be looking at question three and question four in the January 2020 paper two. All right, so this third question here, um, we have a hexagonal prism, right? And they are asking us to complete this um, statement here. How many faces do we have, right? So if you look at the shape here, we have one hexagon here, an X hexagon here, right? So that's two faces. And then we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to give me a total of eight faces, right? So we have eight faces here. So that's the answer for this part. This is going to be eight faces. The next part, they want to know how many edges we have. So every um, point where two faces meet, right, um, that's going to give me an edge. So we have one here, two here, three here, four, five, six edges here. And we're going to have six edges on the next side as well. And then we have uh, one here, one here, one here, one here. So that's a total of six more edges, right? So that's going to give me a total of 18 edges, right? So this here should be 18. And then in terms of vertices now, we're looking at this here. This is one, this is one, right? And so we keep going. When you count all these um, vertices, right? What you're going to get here, right? Um, when I add that up, I'm going to get a total of how many? 12. I'll give me a total of 12 um, vertices, right? So if you check it here, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on the other side, we have an X6 here. So that gives me a total of 12, right? The next part of the question here, they said a sports club, right? Owns a field PQRS in the shape of a quadrilateral. A scale of a scale diagram of this field is shown below. So one CM represents 10 meters. Um, in the following parts show all construction lines. So what do they want here? The field is divided with a fence from P to the side RS. So we're starting at P and they want to construct a fence going this way, right? All right so let's see. The field is to be divided with a fence from P to decide RS so that different sports can be played at the same time. For each point on the fence, right, each point on the fence is the same distance from PQ as from PS. PQ, right, so that's this line here and this line here, right? So I need to adjust something here, then, right, because they're talking about equal distances there. So that means what we're trying to do, we're trying to actually bisect this thing here right where this angle here right and this angle here is going to be the same angle right because they are telling us that each point on the fence is the same distance from pq as ps show not sure sorry using a straight edge and compass only construct the line um representing the fence and write down the length of the fence in meters right so let's Turn up this here and let's turn this on here. Right? And one second, we only wrong diagram. Right, so this is what we want to do here. Alright, so essentially what we're going to do, we're actually going to just bisect this line here, right? So bisect this angle, sorry. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our compass, right? We're going to come to this point P here, right? So you put the pointy part by P, right? And then what we're going to do, we're going to draw an arc like this, right? So we're going to draw an arc here, right? And what we're going to do next, we're going to take that same arc, right? And we're going to put the pointy part here. Because what we're doing, we're trying to bisect an angle, right? So we're going to draw a second arc here, right? 
take the compass, come to the side with that same um, open, same width that we have it open to, and we're going to draw a second arc here, right? Now, where these two arcs intersect, right, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a line from the point P. Right, I have another trouble here, but right. Uh, let's change that color there, All right? And I'm going to draw a straight line that passes through the point P, right? So this green line here is going to be my fence, right? That's my fence here. That green line is going to be my fence, right? So. All we are doing, we are bisecting that angle P there, right? Now, the next part of the question here, they want us to measure the length of this thing, right? Now, the thing is, um, my diagram is not to scale, right? So what you would have to do is actually take your ruler and measure that length there, right? So like I said, what you see in here, that's not going to be what's on the exam paper because my diagram is not um, to the actual scale that was any exam paper. But you're going to take a ruler and you're just going to measure that length there, right? Um, okay, so that is that part. So hold on again. All right, so next part here now, part C, we have um, a quadrilateral PQRS, right? And it's image P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime, right? Um, the first thing they want, they said write the mathematical name of the quadrilateral. So if you look at PQRS, you can tell that that's a trapezium, right? That's a trapezium. So this here is gonna be a trapezium, right? Now they said PQRS is mapped on to P prime, Q prime, S prime by an enlargement scale factor k um, about center, right? About center c, so that's your center of enlargement. Use the diagram above to determine a, b, and k. So we wanna know the scale factor and we wanna know the center of enlargement, right? That's what we wanna know from here. So what we're gonna do, right? So let's do a little construction here, right? Um, let's go back to Let's go to this diagram here. All right, so what we need to do, right? We need to draw a line that passes through P and passes through P prime or Q and Q prime or R and R, and R prime, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Um, let's rotate this ruler a little bit, right? All right, so I'm gonna start with, let's say Q. All right, and I'm gonna draw a line that passes through Q and Q prime, right? So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna draw a line from here, through here, as one line. Right. Next thing we're gonna do, we can do the same thing. Um, no, you don't have to do it for all the points, right? Let's say I use P prime, and let's say P. All right. Again, I'm gonna draw a line from P prime. One second. Let's. I draw over that line, right? So basically, we draw a line from here through here, right? 
and the next thing we want to do now we want to draw a line let's choose any other point let's say r if we want right so i'm going to take r here now the reason why my answer is going to be slightly different here it has to do with the fact that um the diagram itself is a little skewed right right so we pass in you draw a line through r and r prime right Right? So that's my point there. Now, what that allows me to do, guys, you realize that these projection lines, they meet at a particular point, right? Now, in this case here, the point that they're meeting at, right, is this point here, right? It looks like this point here, right? Now, that point there, right, that point there corresponds to... Um, minus four one right this point here corresponds to minus four one right so that there is my center of enlargement right so your center of enlargement o is given by minus four one right the next thing that they want they want the scale factor of um this enlargement right they want the scale factor so to get the scale factor k, right, all we need to do is to use one of our lengths. So let's say I can use, um, let's say q prime, r prime, that's on my image, and I'm gonna divide that by qr, right? That's how I can find my, um, my scale factor. So if you look at that carefully, we have a length of one, two, three units. So we take in three, and we divide it by the length of qr, so QR is actually one. So my scale factor here is three. I can use, I can even use PS, right? I can use PS here. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So K can also be equal to, now these are just possibilities, right? All of them, you should get the same answer. Um, that's PS, P prime S prime divided by PS. And that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six divided by, if we look at PS, PS has a length of two units, we're gonna get three. So my scale factor for this particular question here is going to be three, all right? So let's go back to the question here.